Hello, my name is Dave O'Connor and I am an engineer on the Quay team. Today I will be showing you how to use the new restricted user feature available in Quay 3.8. For the demo, we're going to run through a short scenario. Let's say we have two users, Alice and Jack. Alice will be an unrestricted user and Jack will be restricted. Alice should be able to create, update, and delete organizations and repositories as she normally would in Quay today, but Jack should have restricted access and only be able to interact with organizations and repositories he has been invited to. In order to do this, we'll need to enable the feature in the Quay config YAML. In this example configuration here, I have set feature restricted users to true and added Alice to the restricted users whitelist. When Quay is running with this configuration, every user except for Alice will be restricted. Let's take a look at a running instance. On the left, I have logged into Quay as Alice, and on the right, I have logged in as Jack. Since Jack is a restricted user, he should not be able to create any new orgs, repos, or tags. So let's give that a quick shot. We'll try to create an organization called Demo, and Jack is unauthorized. And if we come into Jack's home organization and create a new repository, try to call it Demo, also unauthorized. In order for Jack to do anything in Quay now, he must be granted permission by Alice to an existing organization or repository. Let's create an organization as Alice and invite Jack. So come in as Alice, create demo organization, and we'll create uh, a new repository as well. We'll call it AutoMagic, just to show that she can create repositories still. If we go to demo and we go to teams and memberships and we create a new team, call the team AutoMagic, we'll grant anyone who's a member of this team write access to the AutoMagic repository and anyone who is a member of uh, the team access to uh, the creator role for the demo organization and we'll add Jack as a member. Now, if we go back to Jack and refresh, he should be able to create repos and tags within the new organization demo. So let's do so. Try to create a new repository inside a demo. We'll call it test. As you can see, we were successful. Now let's try to create uh, an image inside of the demo test repository. So we'll log in as Jack using Podman. And we'll attempt to push up an image. And if we go back as Alice and go into the demo organization, and go to test and tags, we'll see the brand new tag. And if we go in as Jack, we'll see the same exact thing. And that concludes today's demo.